so we have everything pretty much taken apart all our cushions and storage area <coughs> everything's out and about anyway we finally decided on what air condition we wanted and we ordered it and it has come in and here it sits right now it is 84 degrees in here and we are trying to figure out the best place to put it where to run our duct system etc right now i'm taking off this wall so we have room for the air conditioner it's gonna fit right there uh yeah He's trying to get into there just so we can have some accessibility, I believe. I'm going to show you what we're doing. Let's go down this hole right here. And into the kids' room where we have everything nice and stacked. Anyway, so we're going to come here. And this, right here, in the closet, we're going to place the AC, the unit itself. So now that we have everything torn completely apart, and we have charts everywhere, and tools everywhere, and panels everywhere, and wires that were cut out and thrown out and oh my gosh I hope everything works when we're done Bay you want to give us a rundown on how it's going getting rid of all the wires and the junk so we can start putting in the new stuff uh, we're going to have to put some more stuff in there because the new stuff it's making me nervous, just cutting wires here and there, chucking them, throwing them. It's a little scary. I trust him. Mainly because if he's the one that screws it up, he's the one that's got to fix it anyway. So. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? What did you do? Alright, we were doing some exploring and we found a through hole that goes to our water maker that we're not using right now. So, so that we can cool off. I'm going to steal that through hole from the water maker and we're going to run the air conditioner. And we found the perfect yeah. little place to put it. And we got it positioned where it doesn't take up much room and you can see both of the pressure gauges. You can still get to the charging port. So we're going to run two ducts in the salon and then we're going to run one down into the port hole. And then hopefully, hopefully and then if that doesn't cool our side, we're going to put an air conditioner in the starboard side. But we're hoping that with the two vents in here and the size of the AC, it'll just dump some cold air right down this hole and into this bedroom right there. So, anyway, that's the plan. I'm excited. I don't have to give up any of my storage space for my groceries. As you can see, it would be quite traumatic. So, anyway, so we're off to go to the store and get some ducking. Okay, so we just got back from Lowe's in West Marine, getting everything we think we need to finish our installation. Everything with the breaker anyway. And we have AJ helping. Hi, AJ. Hello. And he's running wires for something. I don't know what, they, what it's for, but Nate's being a big help. See how I got the spigot sticking out beyond the plywood? The plywood's far enough that way that the spigot's sticking out below it. Yeah. Past it. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that it's the same. You want okay. the edge of the plywood right about even with the black part of that spigot right there. Okay. The okay. black part of the spigot. Yeah. Okay. I got it. So, right now what I'm trying to do pull this wire from here into there reason being that normally you would have to pull the stairs up in order to get access to it so what you need to do I fished a 
clothes wire down here, right? Yep. So you can take this. Now, grab the other end right here. All right, I need to get in there, buddy. Okay. You can hold your horses, I'm almost done. Try to guide it through. Oh, we got it through right there. He's wanting you to push it through, baby. Oh. It's hung up right there on something. There. See now. Look at that. Booby! Nate, you help him because you love us or because you want air when you come see us? Huh? Huh? Typical teenage answer. Right. What are you running wires for? Me? Yeah. Uh, your second power. Oh, uh, this is going to go to the to the sugar scoop? Mm -hmm. Ah. Gotcha. Okay, now what you doing? We have the, this is the return duct, right? Yep. And we're in the salon, and it's going to go right there against that flat part. And hopefully I'll still be able to use my storage right there. It's always a scary thing when you're cutting a hole in your boat. Anywhere. Oh, you're just drilling holes right now. Now that we got it through there, now we got to get it into the prop shaft compartment over there. Which now. You're going to get into the engine compartment. I'm going to close it up so I can get on top over there. Can you tell me if you see any light coming through? That light? No. <laughs> Which means it ain't going to work. You screwed holes in my. No, it's going to work. You think you'll ever finish your list? Probably not. You also told me you put a washer and dryer in. I'm going to. You never said it had to be hooked up. <laughs> What's that look? I have a stick in my hand. <laughs> you better watch it. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Huh? <laughs> no comment, honey. You gonna stay out of it? Is he standing in that water and oil? Huh? Keep doing it. You got it. Uh oh. Flip through. Yeah, it uh. It come on tape. It came on tape. He lost it. And you got a really nice fit for the return duct. Is that what that's called? Yep. He's still trying to pull that line through. He's got it? Yep. Yay! Keep pulling. You got more still. Good job. Look at there. Doesn't it look smart? Lovely. Just lovely. Everybody, give daddy a hand. Clap, clap. Clap your hands. Clap, clap. Clap your hands. Y'all can clap when the air conditioner comes on. Oh, I will. Trust me. Here you go, baby. Put this stuff where it's going. Scratch your name and your name, please. I know where I can put this. <laughs> I got a we have one scratch net. Okay, we are now mounting the AC to 
the board that we use liquid nails to glue down to the um, fiberglass which down to the main flooring and then we're going to mount the AC to the actual board itself that he's doing now and then the electric box I guess that's what you would call it I think it's going to go right there Gotta put the blower back on and tighten it down and then run some back. Putting the blower back on. This is day two of AC installation. So after a second trip to West Marine, because Somebody, not saying who, didn't get enough wire. AJ is now connecting the main wire to the, I guess, power box, whatever you want to call it. We're hooking up the final wire that's going into the control panel for the air conditioner. Then when my breakers come in, all I have to do is install the breakers and connect the wires to the breakers and then connect the water and we'll be done. Which cannot be soon enough. Meanwhile, I am being a sweet mama and wife and cooking a very scrumptious shrimp stew. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so good. payments to my baby boy for coming over to help along with check this out ball crawfish yum but that's that's for later not right now they gotta do their work first so they say in that after this is done they're calling it a day to go fishing and stuff <laughs> We don't have the rest of the park, my little fish. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> yeah. So this is for the extra shore power for the AC. Where are you going? Go put that wire in the hole. Shove the wire in the hole. Okay, so what are you doing? Two. I'm fixing a spot to put the power for the uh, air conditioner. We'll leave that there for tomorrow. Now it's time to put the water pump and run the lines for the water pump in. That's the scary part. That's the messing with the through holes. Come out here and see how AJ is coming along. So you have your positive, neutral, and ground. And how do you know the difference? Positive is your black, neutral is your white, ground is your green. Always. American color codes anyway. And we're in America, so. <laughs> what is this? 
And how does that work? I have no idea. So it pumps water up through it and back out? Okay, now AJ is working on what? I don't know what this is. It's the power box for the air conditioning, isn't it? I guess. You know where to work? Have you figured Whatever out? Whatever it is, he's hooking it up. We are trying to figure out. It looks like. Where to put the thermostat. Yep. Pump hooks up there. Well, that's what this, this is, right? Is the, I guess the control box for the AC. No, that's power. Where is that going to the pump? Don't you think it'll get? Oh, you can. You think you can push it through? Oh, pushing it through, that's another story. If you have a pull cable through it, yeah. This is a safety main inlet breakers from the shore power. This is the Blue Sea Systems breaker 30 amp there's two of them one for each shore power inlet it monitors any stray voltage or anything and it pr basically protects the whole boat and it's got buttons to test it's supposed to test once a month it's got indicator lights for reverse polarity and that your own light on lights you still need to strip all these out i'm waiting for the fridge almost done and this should be done by an electrician, which my brother happens to be. Dun, dun, dun. Engineer, actually. Oh, excuse me. Okay. okay, so Tim just drilled his holes for his drain pipe. And the AC is up under the salon bench through the um, V-Bird locker. On the port side and it's going to come out there and go into there and then it's going to run down the side of the wall right here and into this through hole that through hole was originally there for the water maker and we're going to put a splitter since they don't need to be done both at the used both at the same time that will eliminate an extra through hole. Okay, so the drain hoses ran, or run, however you want to say it. And now, he's getting ready to do what? Install the filter in the pump. The filter in the pump. And those are going to go back into this hole. They have to be um below water level yeah so they're going to go back into here i think we're going to install them right along this edge right there if i'm not mistaken okay so we have the water pump where is it right there water pump installed right there that's going to cool the ac and now he's working on the filter, which is going to be placed, I'm assuming, next to it. Yep. So, up in there is the air condition unit. And I am assuming he is placing some clamps on the hoses that he's connected to it. We have the pump and the filter installed. And I guess now he's just going to run the line. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so anyway, so he's connecting the hoses now. Double clamping everything, tighten it up good and tight. It's all in there. Little piece is going to go from the pump to the filter. From the filter to the pump. Oh, from the filter to it the comes out of the water, goes to the... Mm -hmm. 
What does that go on? Hold you strapping it to the mount? Yeah, that holds it in place. Now that's going to go from the through hole to the filter. Right. All right, we have the plumbing run for the AC. Those are the drain lines and pump lines. And now he's working on the electrical. He's got a little heat shrink stuff going on. With my professional electrician's hair dryer. <laughs> Hey, it'll work. Alright, now wrap that with electrical tape. Okay, what we're working on now. <laughs> Drilling the hole in the boat. It's always a fun thing. Fun and exciting. We have to drill a hole for the drain pipe and also for condensation drainage. So, this is going to go on the inside of the porthole right under the AC. I am waiting for him to... Alright, you ready? Yep. Go down in the boat, I mean under the boat, in the dinghy and put something through this hole right here and when he does I am to screw this big nut on it and tighten the poop out of it that's what he said he's drilling through That is the that's, drain hose, the, the cooling hose. Cool that's water. the exit for the cooling water. Cool. That's already hooked up to the AC. Everything's done except for the electrical and the drain. And then I have to organize this electrical in here and tie it up with electrical ties. And in the end, the only rope you'll see will be that little bit down there. And there was just no way around it. Try as I had. Do it. Nobody will even notice it. It's going to be great. Air conditioning will be great, whether they notice it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the holes to the vent. We get the shop back up here. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm going to use my big hole saws to cut the two ends out, and then I'll just have to go across with it. The jig. I think it won't. So, any advice about Maybe. keeping the dust down? You go down in there, it's like a through hole. You use a vacuum. Don't film me. Use a vacuum cleaner. I got a sign. And cover everything. So, here's the AC duct, I guess. I don't see it. it. Through and down into. The porthole. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, you can kind of see him moving down there. What's the next step? Jigging the saw. Jigging the saw. Then you're taking the tape off. 
Yeah, I'm going to. Damn, yeah, knock that back out. I can't believe you cut a hole in your boat. It's not the first one, it's scary. <laughs> hey, Bant. I need to come out so I step. Watch my finger. <laughs> I'm saying it's 79 degrees in here. You can put a lot. You want to make sure that jigsaw don't scratch it. I know what was in the I'm sure it was something that I gave you. Yeah. Hey, Pinky. 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 Hey, Pinky
Y'all just don't know how exciting this is. Let's see, we just turned it on and it's 82 degrees, 64 humidity. 